to pick up another project. All right, we've needed a project that was kind of a build for a while, but we ain't got no damn money. We can't afford no projects. And guess what? Not buying this one either. Uh, this is a truck I'm pretty excited about. I can't wait to work on, but it's gonna be my buddy's truck. Uh, you guys might see me wear heat lightning speed shop stuff all the time. Um, that's my drift team. Uh, but also, my buddies run a performance shop out of North Georgia called Gasset Heat Lightning Speed Shop. Killer cars, killer turnout, killer time frame. Really good guys, really good shop. However, just like all shops, they're too busy with everybody else's stuff to work on their own stuff. And so that's where I'm going to help. And I'm going to help finish up one of the, I guess it's a shop truck. It's a personal truck of my buddy Johnny, but it's a shop truck for the shop. So we're going to go pick her up tonight, bring her home, knock out some stuff, a little bit of maintenance, a lot of bit of love, and uh, send her home looking hopefully a little bit cooler. We have arrived at Heat Lightning HQ. Some employee cars. That thing, uh, that's the LS chaser. It happened. E lighting speed shop, Gainesville, Georgia. <sighs> Drifter cars. Lifted forerunners. Junk. Just kidding. boys also just started importing cars so this is actually japan spec jzs 161 that's not just like a pep boys badge that's a vertex edition that's aristo lace seat covers blue cloth interior kind of dark can't really see it really cool really cool clutch pedal in-house design so uh i don't know if they plan on swapping this before the new owner picks it up, but uh, they do make bolt-in clutch pedals for Lexus cars, chasers, uh, JZX chassis. Um, maybe they're actually using this one for R&D to do a right-hand drive pedal. I'm not sure if they've already done those yet. Got some roller food for dinner. What a unit. Oh yeah, that's a truck. Well, here she is. The, uh, I don't know, it's somewhere between a 79 and an 81. I actually don't know what year truck this is. Uh, lovingly known as the Roach. Uh, from the passengers that she came with when Johnny bought her. Full of roaches. Um, so we got Lake Cucaracha, the Toyota pickup. So picked her up last night. We did a C-notch on the frame back here in uh, lieu of the fact that I plan on lowering her a little bit more while I got her in my possession. Uh, it's already got a three inch block on it, which I don't like huge blocks, but we're gonna stick with that. We're gonna mod it and get it uh, maybe two more inches lower. Front, down a little bit re uh re-index torsion bars probably and she's got a few maintenance items need to be done brakes uh might drop the tank have hateville radiator clean that out and possibly rebuild the carburetor or the uh radiator on this one uh it's got a slow leak in the rad so uh this is gonna be our short-term project no build just some uh some fun mods let's get her off the trailer though as you can see, she is a runner. Uh, could use a bath. And the floors are rusted out. We aren't gonna worry about the uh, the rusty floors. Definitely gonna wash it. Um, already lowered, but we're gonna go lower. Uh, get these wheels fitting just right. She's on the Lodeo Drives. Neat looking uh, three-spoke JDM wheels. 
Collodios were mostly like four trucks. So. 22R truck, power steering. Not real common on the two wheel drive trucks, uh, especially it's, I, well, it might've been an SR5 because it was a five speed truck, um, but rubber floor mat, um, no AC. So neat that it's power steering. Uh, she's pretty gross under here, but she does run 3838 Weber. Um, I'll probably give it a bath in here, but this is all pretty sorted. Like I said, the radiator leaks might have that rebuilt locally. Um, but other than cleaning and maybe the radiator under the hood, she's good. We're gonna do the brakes, set her down on the suspension and, uh, you know, a few odds and ends, let them knock out the exhaust cause well, they're a fab shop and that's what they do. Pretty Spartan inside, uh, but she's all there. She's, uh, well, mostly all there. Um, but look at that fancy bench. Uh, they actually worked on one of these trucks for a customer who had gotten his factory seat reupholstered and then he went to buckets. So they got this one. No tack, horn doesn't work, but almost can guarantee. Yep, she's a Toyota. But a uh, couple boxes of parts, brakes, oil change, I believe. You know, a few little knickknacks and patty wax. Uh, while this thing was up on the lift the other day at the shop, I did find out that uh, needs an idler arm extremely bad. So we have ordered one of those. She's on the way to the house. And, uh, oh my God. Those are pretty hard to roll up. So we might investigate that. As you can see, she's vice gripped. So original windshield on this truck. What year is this thing? It is a 81. Almost an 82. She's a July 81 truck. Very late round headlight truck. A couple months later, this thing probably would have had square headlights and would have been sold as an 82. Yep. As I was leaving yesterday, uh, Johnny proceeds to say, it's really hard to close. You want to see how you close it? That's real life. If you don't do that, it doesn't close. I think we'll probably mess with that a little bit so you don't have to do that. Good Lord, we got out of work early enough today to get some sunlight, so first order of business. We can't let this thing be that dirty. It's a really pretty truck. So, bath time. Got her all cleaned up. Looking snazzy. I mean, just look past the rust, it's fine. So, thing, plan for today, First order of business is going to be to bring that rear suspension down. Um, I think we're going to go with just pulling the center leaf out of the pack. Sorry, I'm hungry. Uh, we'll just pull each center leaf out, throw it back together, see the height we get. Uh, they do like to use this thing to move engines around and stuff like that, so I might end up going back in. And... Uh, adding that leaf back to see if we can come up with an orientation that gets us both as low as we want to be and a little bit stiffer spring rate. So let's see what we can do. We've done this before, guys. You really don't remember? Anyway, we're going to blast our U-bolts loose. Bow, 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 bow. Unclamp our center leaf, front and rear, lift the axle up, pull our centering pin out of the leaves, pull this center leaf out. Throw the whole pack back together, put it back on the ground, see where we're at. That's the plan. Think we can do it? Ever the pessimist.
expected. As expected, the centering pin is rusted solid and won't come out, so. We'll have to hit it with some cleaning and some lube and maybe some heat. And hopefully, she'll just come off. Oh. Holy cow, it is. Spread these spring clamps apart. So, got our middle leaves out. Boy, that looks like it'd be better on the Toyota van than the Datsun Springs. A lot more arch. We'll keep those around for another project. So next we're gonna throw the up the overload spring back in. This time upside down. You guessed it. Same process, opposite side. We are now reassembled. We just gotta tighten her up. So with the thickness of the pack reduced by taking out that one leaf, our centering pin's actually too long now to go down which is kind of odd this lower seat doesn't have a hole for the centering pin so two options there drill this out for a centering pin or trim that one down a hair i think we're going to go with the second one of those options it's a little fast you might have noticed i wasn't uh wearing safety glasses but it's fine though i was you know safety squints Hiding behind the bill of my hat and the brake drum. No chance I was getting anything in my eyes. But I did happen to notice while I was making all those sparks, I've ever so slightly had a whiff of gasoline in the air. Turns out the gas tank on the van is leaking. project for another day. Very cool. Yes. We will uh, more than likely need to take that mud flap off. Dang it. So, if you watched many videos on this channel, you probably know I'm into old Japanese cars, more specifically. I'm a Toyota guy. Uh, one thing though, is that these 79 to 83 round fender RN30 chassis Toyota pickups are my favorite. Um, my very first vintage Japanese car was a 1982 Toyota pickup. That was my first foray into playing with old stuff. And uh, let me tell you, when you're young and dumb and that's all you got, that teaches you a lot. That truck uh, had a rusty block. So, driving down the road, rust would free up from inside the motor, get into the upper radiator tank, and block off the coolant. I'd have to stop on the side of the road, pull the radiator out, pour water back through it, stick it all back in, and still make it to work on time. That happened a few times. So, after that, I had several other older Japanese vehicles, um, including the 1981 Toyota pickup, which was one exactly like this. I mean, it was white, round headlights, round fenders, two-wheel drive. This one's actually a long bed, mine was a short bed, but 
that one was the first vehicle that I really ever styled in a way that made me exciting. That thing was so cool. It was super low, had 15 by 10 wheels on it, and it just looked awesome. And it somehow just kind of built the way I do things. So, oddly enough, I sold that truck, ended up trading to get it back a few years later, and now I constantly want one, but I've never gotten another one. So, working on this truck for Johnny is kind of bittersweet because, I mean, this thing is so nice. It, it's not, but it drives so good. It's so reminiscent to me. Uh, I've had a 22R truck with a 3236. I've had a 20R truck with a 3838. This is a 22R truck with a 3838. And it's just peppy enough that it's hilariously fun. It's still super slow. But it just drives so good. And uh, so this is the test drive to see if the rear suspension is still going to be good for hauling stuff. Feels great. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, next time we're going to get the front suspension settled out, get her a lot closer to the ground, and uh, hopefully improve the roll center. Man, this thing's sweet. You can set my truck on fire. I rode down a hill and I still wouldn't trade it for a coupe de ville. I got a seven and a half foot bed that never has to be made. You know, if it weren't for trucks, we wouldn't have tailgates. I never knew he was a pickup man.